Welcome to the Future of Creation. In this video, we're unveiling the top 5 best 3D printers set to revolutionize your projects in 2025. From intricate prototypes to functional end-use parts, we'll delve into the cutting-edge technologies, precision, and user-friendly features that define these game-changing machines. We'll be comparing everything from print speed and material compatibility to software integration and overall value, to help you find the perfect 3D printer for your needs. Number 5. Prusa MK4S. Prusa has updated its flagship i3 printer with a new cooling system and high-flow nozzle to produce prints that are fast and accurate without the need to run at ridiculous acceleration rates. The company has enclosed a portion of its 600 machine print farm in order to create MK4S parts in PC carbon fiber, a stronger material that is also heat resistant. The MK4S is the whole enchilada, with fully automatic bed leveling, dual Z axis, magnetic flex plate, and a color touch screen. It also introduces a NFC antenna, that when paired with the new Prusa mobile app, will get your machine online in a flash. An optional GPIO board will let you hack your printer with code to add lights, camera triggers and other nerdy tricks. While the MK4S still comes factory calibrated for input shaping, Prusa has made an optional accelerometer available for those who feel the need to tweak their printer. The new MK4S will remain at the same price of $1,099 for a pre-assembled machine and $799 for a DIY kit. This is certainly expensive for a bed slinger, but for makers who want top quality performance and stellar customer service, the MK4S is worth the investment. Old four Malawi and Quacha's units can be upgraded with new parts with a $99 kit. Number 4. Original Prusa XL. We're finally seeing 3D printers catch up with Bamboo Lab's automatic material system, first launched in 2021 and capable of producing four color prints with a single unit. Prusa Research's XL has surpassed the X1 Carbon with a five-spool tool changer system that is faster and far less wasteful. Because each spool has a dedicated filament path and its own hot end, the XL can rapidly change colors without having to load and unload materials. Instead, each color is on standby at 175 degrees and only needs a quick heat up and prime before going to work. This system is not only faster, but it doesn't waste material. The Bamboo Lab AMS system is infamous for piles of filament poop that plague users. Because the AMS system shares one nozzle, it has to be cleaned of melted filament with each color change. Only cold filament can go back on the roll. This is not Prusa's first attempt at color, having developed a multicolor attachment for their MK series as far back as 2017. Sadly, the MMU is quirky and never quite caught on. However, it allowed Prusa to adapt Prusa Slicer to multicolor slicing and gave them ample time to perfect the software before the XL launched. The original Prusa XL is a true multi material 3D printer that can handle up to five different materials. Because each spool of filament gets its own hot end, users can mix and match filament types as well as colors, and adjust temperature and flow accordingly. The only downside to the Prusa XL is its price, which is a hefty $3,999 when fully equipped with five tool heads and shipped assembled. Users can start with a less expensive two-head machine and purchase more tool heads later as upgrades. If you want a more affordable multicolor system and don't mind a smaller build volume, there are a couple of 3D printers to consider. We recently reviewed the Cobra 3, Anacubic's first four-color bed slinger, which comes with input shaping and impressive speed. The slicer still needs work, though. It launched with an MSRP of $549 and is currently on sale for $489. Alternatively, the Bamboo Lab P1S is a solid option with speed, quality, and an AMS system that can print up to 16 colors. The combo costs $849, and the standalone machine is $599. Number 3. Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. If you want to squeeze as much printing power into a small space, and tight budget, as possible then Bamboo Labs A1 Mini checks all the boxes. 
It's a bed slinger style mini 3D printer with the option of adding a light AMS automatic material system. It's the fastest bed slinger we've clocked so far and nearly as fast as Bamboo's larger core XY machines. Retailing at $299 for the printer and $459 with the AMS Lite, it packs more features than the competition for significantly less money. It has an intuitive color touch screen, quick change steel nozzles and a blazing 10,000mm slash S superscript 2 acceleration speed for fast, clean prints. The A1 Mini can level the bed and set its own Z height with the touch of a button. The AMS for the A1 Mini spoils the compact footprint a bit, as it has to be set next to the printer rather than on top. It makes up for the inconvenience by being superior to the full-sized AMS with sensors that detect tangles and a spindle for each spool that can accommodate filament with odd-sized or cardboard spools. Number 2. Creality Ender 3V3SE there has never been a more user-friendly, budget 3D printer than Creality's Ender 3V3 SE, say goodbye to scratch builds and manual leveling. This machine takes no more than 15 minutes to assemble, then self-levels and sets its own Z height. Its modern LED interface makes the machine simple to use and comes complete with guides to walk you through filament changes and more. It's faster than previous Ender 3s with a max speed of 250 mm per second, which is mainly due to a robust build, with linear rods on the Y-axis and dual Z-axis, rather than speedy firmware. Obviously, Creality had to cut a few corners to produce this machine. It only has one Z-stepper motor, the second Z-axis is synced with a belt. The bed has a cheaper PC surface, and there's no Wi-Fi. Number 1. Creality K2 Plus. 2025 is going to be the year of speedy color FDM 3D printers, and Creality's K2 Plus has nailed it. This printer has a cruising speed of 300 mm per second with a 30,000 mm S superscript 2 max acceleration rate, and easily prints in four colors with its new, Creality filament system. It can handle much larger prints than its rivals, with a 350 mm cubed build volume. It has a high-flow nozzle that can heat up to 350 degrees, and a heated, which means it can handle nearly any filament from PLA to PC. TPU must be run through a side port on a traditional spool holder, but no one has managed to make soft filaments run through all the tubing needed for a color-swapping 3D printer. Some would say Creality is merely cribbing off Bamboo Lab and their wildly successful X1 Carbon. But Creality has brought many improvements to color printing that we've yet to see from Upstart Bamboo, a bigger print volume, a heated chamber and the ability to easily print offline with full open source clipper. Creality remembers its roots as a scrappy DIY 3D printer for enthusiasts, and remains faithful to the open source community. The machine retails for $1,499 as a four-color combo, which may not fit everyone's budget. But the K2 Plus is easy to use right out of the box, so it's not limited to only experienced makers or small business owners. Its flexibility, paired with quiet fans and carbon filtration system, makes it a worthwhile purchase for home or office. My only fault with the printer is one that's hard to avoid, the CFS wastes a bit more filament than the Bamboo AMS due to its high-flow hot end with a larger melt zone and lack of fine control in the custom slicer. It also needs to be properly warmed up, as it uses a thick aluminum plate to ensure a flat print surface. You will find all the links of these products in the description below comment below and tell us which 3D printer you were considering thanks for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and if you are new to the channel then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.